Hey gents, back in August, I found myself in Paris and I had an opportunity to go over to a Lignetti at Tuli, which is the physical retail presence for Lignetti, where they're able to show you the styles of their suiting and the raw wools and the raw materials that you can build your suit, you get measured in the store, and then they ship it to you when it's ready because it is made to order based on your custom measurements. I'll link to my unboxings below of the suits, but while I was there, I also sat down and talked to them a little bit about what makes them different from other suit companies. Thank you for them for sponsoring this video, and without further ado, let's jump in. First, the correct pronunciation is Lanieri. 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 Yeah, so we yeah. open, like in Italian and in Spanish, we open a lot of the vowels. Right. So it will be Lanieri. So Lanieri are those people who work with the wool. So it, it would be kind of woolen or something like yeah. that. So Lanieri, that's why we... But after all, it's gonna be everything in the iPad. It's gonna be everything an online purchase. It's everything gonna be like a, 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 an internet experience. So you can even pull up my profile that I already created. And then well, actually, that. actually, it's already it, it's already uploaded there in, in our iPad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work as, as if you were in your own home. Mm -hmm. It's not that we're not good retailers. We we're not interested in being good retailers because we were born online. Of course, we've realized that for the product that we're trying to offer, not everybody is gonna be so uh, pushed to do it online immediately. Right. So they need somehow to be reassured in the first purchase process and that's why we changed a little bit and we adapt to what people was asking us for so that's why uh, we opened we started opening this kind of atelier this kind of showrooms uh, but our main window to to the people is our website so most of our investments and most of our, of our work we do it for the website because if it works on the website then eventually the, the small things that we have to do here is something that we're pushing everyone to do completely at home. All our traffic is people that is already interested in what we're doing. So we're not interested in calling your attention uh, from, from, from our window here. Well, actually my, my, my main question, and I, I've gotten it from others, is what would be the main difference between the wool from certain mills? Well, actually it's a matter of process. Mm -hmm. I mean, so after all, it depends on uh, well, which kind of what, what kind of process everyone is following. It depends also on the raw material, which means uh, well, for example, there is Loro Piana and there is uh, Armeni Gildo Zegna that are really well known as well for their work in, in with the wool. They have always also developed somehow uh, a B two C business in which they have retail as well. So maybe that's why for a normal person that does not know exactly what, uh, what like the, 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 the producer of, of wool, they might know Loro Piana because they're a retailer as well. They might know Armenegildo Zegna because they're retailers as well. But actually those big brands were born from wool mills. Uh, in this case, well the difference is mainly the raw material. So in this case when you buy wool at the beginning, uh, you have different parts from the from the sheep to get the, 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 the wool. It's a matter of course of the water you need and that's why the Biela region in Italy became one of the like well, one of the engines of the Italian uh, revolution in this case uh, because they had a lot of water going there and that allowed them to have a really good process and really well like a really easy way to to wash the the, the materials and get a really good quality mm -hmm. so that's why we kept that kind of tradition and well actually Rita or Reda in this case is one of our it's one of our, one of our main investors mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I noticed um, with some other companies I've gotten from, uh, Vital, Barberi, Canonico is a big one too. Well, Vitale Barberi Canonico, uh, Vitale Barberi Canonico as well is one of our. Uh, it's one of uh, of of the, of the fabrics that we that we offer here, and it's kind of a different way in which in, they have approached the market. So let's say uh, Reda has worked a lot with uh, with the B two B market, which means uh, yeah, most of the big name brands that you that you're buying right now might be uh, done with uh, with the Reda fabric, but of course they're not going to be known to the end producer, to the end uh, consumer, because they might be hidden with a with a big brand here. I don't know uh, either Armani or Hermes or whatever it is, because they work with real big brands. Uh, instead, uh, Vitale Barberis Canonico has decided to work a lot more hand in hand with tailors. You got a dozen manufacturers, but they're all like centuries old. Which exactly. Is, which is exactly. Cool. Well, in, in that case, uh, well, it, it is kind of our strategy as well. We wanted to keep everything extremely Italian, mm -hmm. and uh, even though we accept that um, English have really good. Uh, 
well, um, wool mills, uh, we rather keep uh, like uh, our softer and our lighter part of the, uh, of the fabric. So that's why we decided to work exclusively with Italian brands. And we knew that what was uh, left in the Biela region is the best of the best in terms of Italian quality. No matter what fabric you get, you're, you're trying to make sure that you have a, con a consistent fit, whether you order from from the Laredes or from the Vital so. That for sure, that for sure. So in terms of manufacturing, it's always going to be the same. And the other thing that might change from one order to other, it's uh, how the fabric reacts. Mm -hmm. Because it's not the same thing, uh, well, to order something in linen, and it's not the same thing to order something in a thick wool. So it might change, and uh, well, we are ready there to support you in case the fit is not exactly what you wanted. Uh, but we understand that if we're selling this kind of, uh, of, of products, it's because people is aware of what they're what, what they're getting, and that might well that is just part of the process. When are you going to use it? So if it's either for uh, for summer or for winter. And the other thing is the fineness here, which uh, means uh, how thin. The, the, the thread is, like the diameter of the thread is. Mm -hmm. So the higher this number is, well, of course the, the slimmer it's gonna be the thread, and it, it means it's like more difficult to do, it's a lot more difficult to handle, it's a lot more delicate, and it's a lot more, well, yeah, precious in this mm -hmm. case. Here we're talking about 180s, which is something extremely soft. Yeah. It's extremely soft. It's not something that we might find everywhere because it's too expensive at the beginning. So no retailer is gonna do that investment because if I have, I don't know, like I have to invest in 2000, uh, well, suits, I'm not gonna choose this kind of fabric because if I'm not able to sell it, then I have done an enormous investment and nobody's gonna buy that. So that's why these kind of things you might find it only in made to measure and uh, well, in traditional bespoke yeah. suits. Oh, oh, also having like a lighter fabrics because, uh, well, I guess like, like in London is kind of flannels or uh, I don't like really strong, um, fabrics that is really cool I mean I have to have, I have to say that personally I love uh, double breast because as you said it's kind of a statement mm -hmm. I mean there at that moment you're saying okay I'm not just wearing a suit because I have to I'm wearing a suit because I like it the two that I'm really into <laughs> is the the brown and then you have a burgundy I think it might be oh, like yes. this this might be this, this one because I, I was looking at them online and I'm really close but uh... well they this one I love because this isn't linen so okay. this is a tobacco linen that we have. Uh, well, I have to say, like wearing this is just awesome. Of course, you need a, you, you need specific weather, mm -hmm. uh, like specific weather to 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 wear something like this. But I have to say, like, uh, well, it's it's a completely different suit. I mean, it's not like the traditional suit you're you're, you're used to. Mm -hmm. This is something extra. And well, you have a, a little more hair, which is a kind of a different race of. Um, of sheep, which, uh, well, in this case, would give it not complete yeah, like, linen uh, aspects that it might have, but it's just great, really nice. Yeah, you know, it seems like you've done a lot of curation just on what you offer as far as like being on trend and on style. Like you can't really pick one of these and be wrong. It seems like. Well, we do a lot of research before doing it. I'm yeah. that, but well, that's one of the things that differentiate us from from a traditional tailor. A tailor offers you what he has, and maybe well, he has a lot of bunches in terms of like he's gonna offer you eventually everything mm -hmm. which means you have a lot of offer but yet yeah, nobody has done a, a pre-selection of what is being shown right. so yeah in this case well that's why we every sing every six months every six months we we, we we have a different collection and uh, well that's pretty much what we do at PT at PT is not only just posing and just going there with the peacocks it's a lot more uh, of, a, of a research of what's going to be trending in next years and uh, well that's pretty much what we try to reflect here Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I mean like wider, wider stripes are, are coming back, but it's not easy at all like to show that to people. And uh, but yeah, you were right. We try to 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 narrow the selection so that well, it's easy to people to, to select from. Yeah. But I mean, packing. Do you have um, do you have certain suit packing? Well, yeah, of course. I, I always use the language, the language packaging. Well, first of all, because we're we're kind of a startup, and that 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 makes your brand just knowing, and maybe you're gonna be. A little bit overdressed compared to, to like to average people, so they would say, "Okay, that guy who's well, at least uh, uh, knowing what he's wearing and where is he buying the suits." Then it says Lanieri. They don't know exactly that I work there. Mm -hmm. but they might be interested eventually in just 
looking at them. So yeah, four ounces is kind of a one of my bag. biggest pet peeves is the way people dress when they travel. It drives me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. That's a di- that's a digression. That, yeah, <laughs> that is true. I mean, uh, I don't know, but I think like for traveling especially, it helps you a lot. Like being well dressed when traveling, it helps you a lot in the airport. Like with the with, with the um, how do you say that with the customs security, and yeah. security and everything, it just makes your life easier. And uh, well, I don't have to say you, you're you're gonna overdress for traveling, but uh, it's just, just something something that you're gonna do every single day. So why not doing it in the way you would have done it uh, like differently? So yeah. going to the office or whatever it is. Before we go, what, what do you have a story about your timepiece? What made you pick your, uh, your this watch? one? Well, actually, this was a gift. This was a gift. Uh, I mean, uh, I I started in Colombia, and uh, well, my aunt just gave me this when I when I finished my studies. And uh, well, that's why that's why I just keep it. I I want. She knows it that I really like like classic things, mm-hmm. simple things. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, when I got it, I mean, she she couldn't get wrong with this. I mean, it's not something extremely special. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a Japanese it's a Japanese uh, uh, brand, uh, but I love the way that it can match every single thing that I'm wearing. I mean, when I'm wearing uh, yeah boots, jeans, and a, and a leather jacket, it just goes really well. When I'm wearing uh, well, not my tuxedo because it's brown, but 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 I, I, I what I do is I only change the the bracelets. And it's go for, for 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 going for a tuxedo, so yeah. Well, this was a gift, and uh, well, I have to say that she really nailed it when she mm-hmm. when she made it. I'm a sucker for gold and brown. That's okay. how it goes too. Well, yeah, I'm as well. I mean, yeah. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't even know how she how she found it because well, actually, it, it is not easy to find these kind of things like extremely simple. Mainly in, in, in countries as like in Colombia, in, in which everyone wants to be so showy. Mm-hmm. So this kind of things are and went well. When, when she just brought it to me, I mean, she said the first thing she said like, if you don't like it, we go and we change it. And I just said, no, you really found the way that I would have been looking in the case I would have. Mm-hmm. I would have picked that one too. We're, we're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs>